What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna get back into a topic that I kind of started to get into last week, and that was how to reseat a tire that once it's popped off the rim. Um, if you didn't see the last video, a quick summary. I was planting my hay field, and in the morning after I pulled the tractor off the trailer, I noticed that the one of the front tires had gone flat and actually came off of the rim. So, uh, when we're out here in the country, you don't really have time to run to town and burn half of a day just to get a tire reseated when you got a field to plant. So it helps to know these little tricks to kind of get yourself out of a jam. So let me show you what I did. So this is the site that greeted me when I was ready to start planting my field. Not good, but I do have a trick that doesn't involve ether or any other kind of explosion to fix this. All right, so now that we got the front end jacked up, that rim kind of almost seated itself back on the tire, but there's still a little gap there. So in order to pump it up, there's something that we're gonna need to do. So once I have the tire off the ground, the next thing that I need to do is take a chain and wrap it around the tire. So you want the chain pretty tight, but you don't want it so tight that you can't still hook a binder onto it. So once you have the chain on there, obviously put the binder on. So you can kind of see the theory here with the binder cinching the chain down, it depresses the center of the tire a little bit, which in turn pushes the sidewall out. So when you put air in the tire, it should seat itself to the rim. Well, let's give it a try. I'm going to include my failed attempt here so you guys know that sometimes even experts on the internet don't get it on the first try. All right, so that's not working. I think we still have too big of a gap here, but never fear. There's a couple more things we can try. Now, it may look like I've just lost my mind here and got frustrated and decided to start, you know, taking out my anger on the tire by hitting it with a hammer, but there's actually a method to my madness here. The point being to hit the tire directly in the middle where the chain is to help kind of push that sidewall out just a little bit more. After you've hammered all the way around the tire, see if it'll hold air. All right, well the hammering trick worked, which is good. And now comes the scary part, taking that chain off. Sometimes that thing will pop off of there like crazy, but gotta do it. The most important thing you need to remember when you remove the binder is first deflate the tire. Then once the binder and the chain are off, you can fill it back up. Okay, we finally got it. Let's get back to work. And that's all there is to it. Keep that one in the back of your mind because trust me, one day you're going to use it. Thanks for hanging with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.